Hello. Hello. My name is James. I'm William. And together we're Kerbini, and welcome to our interior motives. Come on in. So this is our living room. This is where we spend most of our time chilling and watching Netflix. Hanging and out with Diana. Hanging out with Diana. First of all, this is our bookcase. We've loads of books, loads of art books, because William is an artist as well. Uh, loads of travel books. Um, and as you can see around the house, there's loads of antique bits and bobs, because my dad used to clear out houses when I was a kid. So I used to go with him and get all these, like this is a big Shakespeare book here. And this actually is interesting. This is a newspaper that I found when I was clearing out a house with my dad a few days after the Titanic sank. Um, so that's kind of interesting from 1912. Um, and it's a big special inside of, about the Titanic. So I framed that, kept it. Um, and there's uh, me on the cover of the Irish Times magazine. No big deal. Um, and then this is a lamp actually we got the other day in TK Maxx. TK Maxx is brilliant for homewares. This was 100 euro, William pointed it out to me. Ralph Lauren home, love it. Then this is actually Diana's house in our, our house. house. Um, and it's quite nice actually, if you look inside there's a picture of her mother that she's hung up. <laughs> you see there. She likes uh, people watching out the window as well. Yeah, she watches out. The, she watches cars go by. Sometimes I get pictures from followers of Diana's head looking out the window. <laughs> this is our little drinks trolley. We do like to take a drink of a of a weekend. This, so this, is, this is where we little mix up our little drinks. This then is this our is our hallway. Yeah, this is the hallway. Show them the nipply nun. So this is our nipply nun. James picked it up in the flea market in Dublin, in um, Newmarket Square. And uh, as you can see, she is a nun who is very uh, interestingly showing off her nipples. So yeah, I think that says a lot about us, about the house, and um, yeah. About life. About life in general. Yeah. Free the nipple. Free the nipple, you know. I'm trying to bring the outside in so we have loads of kind of flowers and ivy and stuff around the house. These two were from um, uh, Dunn stores actually, they were like 15 euro each. And then in here yeah. is our dining room. This is a, a painting I actually got down the road in a, a place called Vintage Shop, which has the most amazing um, interiors bits. And um, I carried this down the road. It weighs a ton, like this, all the way down Fibsborough Road, trying not to die. Uh, got it home and my dad kindly hung it up. Helps having a handyman father. And then if you follow us in here, we have a bread in the oven, actually, for you in a while. Um, but this is our kitchen. This is where the magic happens, not in the bedroom. This is where we do be doing our cooking. Um, and just you, cooking. Just cooking. And if you look over here, this is our new cookbook that's out. I'll show you the bread that's actually in the oven that we're, um, we're going to make, yeah. That and we have our, the most important machine in the house. Thing in our house is this coffee machine. It's, um, is the one thing that keeps us going. Yes, it's the Sage <laughs> Oracle. So one coffee coming up. I am actually a qualified barista. I'll have well, do, do do some latte art there, James. Ah, no, that's I'm rustic. Um, and do will we we have something in the oven? Oh yeah, it's the bread done. I think it should be. So this is our seeded Dillis Gloaf. Yeah. Don't get that you camera. Did not. So here it is in the oven. It should be done. This is our seeded Dillis Gloaf from the cookbook. We're just bringing up to the bedroom, which is just up the stairs here. And it is, uh, yeah. It's nice and bright. Nice big size. All our winter coats are out now, so. Yeah. As the weather's getting a bit colder. Um, yeah, this is kind of our shared coat rack, but it's probably overtaken by most of my coats. This is kind of one of my favorite leather jackets. It's the heaviest thing ever, isn't it? Yeah, it's really heavy. Really heavy. Um, what else do we have that's kind of interesting? Oh yeah, this is my massive um, camouflage jacket, which kind of makes me invisible. William will model it. I don't think I can pull it off quite like you can, to be honest. I think you can. <laughs> Um, oh yeah, and this one as well. This is actually a giant coat. I'm a fan of a massive coat. We kind of, unfortunately for me, have the same size. So William tends to borrow all my clothes all well, the time. Well, I don't have as flamboyant a style as you, especially when it comes to coats. Yeah, but you wear all my coats. Like I would never wear this out. 
But James would. You would bear it out. <laughs> when it gets pink. real cold, you will. Anyway, on the other side, William. You'll see a massive picture of him. Yeah. Um, that's part of your art, isn't it? Yeah. And uh, that's me there, my glamour you, shot. If you pan the camera down, you'll see a bit, of, a bit of naked William. But the most embarrassing thing about that is we had to get James's dad to hang it for us. Yeah. So he got very up and close and personal to William's bum. My nude. Yeah. Which was kind of embarrassing. And then we have some. Um, some pictures and stuff on the wall. This is from uh, Debenhams, Big Lion's Head. As you can see, these are loads of bits I found in the houses with my dad. Um, this is actually a really cool photo of, uh, she was called Mad Mary, and she used to march up and down O'Connell Street with crucifixes and things like that. She used like to that. hit people with the crucifixes. She used to hit people, yeah. Um, and this is actually, I'm, I'm obsessed with um, Dublin characters, and this guy is called Johnny Forty Coats, and he used to wear what looked like Forty Coats, so he got that nickname. <laughs> That is it. Thank you so much for coming over. Yeah, I've got the dinner on, but unfortunately there's only enough for me and James, so... Yeah. We did yeah. give you bread. We gave you coffee. We showed you it round. And there's a bus just there, so we'll see you later. Bye now, Off thanks you for go. coming. Bye. You didn't think Diana wasn't going to make a little appearance, did you? Say hello, Diana. Hello, Diana. Say goodbye. Bye-bye. See ya.